We have some breaking news here on Texans today. Houston has signed wide receiver Robert Woods. This coming in from Ian Rappaport at this hour. Former Titans and Rams wide receiver Robert Woods is signing with the Texans, adding a veteran presence to a young team. He gets a two-year $15.25 million deal, $10 million fully guaranteed, and a max value of $17 million. This is a huge pickup for a Texans team that's looking to add a lot of talent on offense this season. And, for, and with free agency beginning in just a few days, we're going to see a lot more moves. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. We just relaunched our Houston Texans channel here at Chat Sports. So subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications to stay in the loop with the Texans because it is going to be a massive couple of days for Nick Casario, D'Amico, Ryans, and company over there in H-Town. I really like this signing, adding a veteran wide receiver for whoever you draft. And I do believe the Texans are going to draft a quarterback at number two overall. I think the news that we received today is actually good news. Because I believe the Panthers are trading up for C.J. Stroud. We've been hearing around the league that the Panthers are really high on C.J. Stroud. I think Bryce Young is going to fall to Houston at two. And that's been my number one guy from really the start of the college football season. Um, Bryce Young is the best quarterback in this draft, in my opinion. Uh, I almost threw up when <laughs> Lovey Smith cost the Texans the number one overall pick because I thought the Texans were going to lose out on Bryce Young. Uh, but it does appear uh, that they're still very much in the Bryce Young sweepstakes. So even if you don't get Young, even if you draft Stroud or which or whoever at number two, you know you have a couple of good options to choose from there. Uh, whichever quarterback you bring in, he is now going to have a veteran wide receiver that's really proven in the National Football League. Now, he spent a couple seasons with the Rams, obviously, from 2017 to 2011. Before that, he played in Buffalo. And then Tennessee got him uh, before the 2022 season, had a lot of expectations. He led Tennessee in receiving yards, was their leading wide receiver, but still had career lows um, in receiving yards. So kind of a disappointing season for him in Tennessee, but at the same time, he was not in a really good situation. Had a banged up Ryan Tannehill, Malik Willis, Josh Dobbs throwing to him. Um, you know, whichever quarterback Houston brings in, I I would imagine uh, would be a little more efficient than who Tennessee had under center uh, this past season. You got to think, uh, you know, Tennessee cut him. There, there might be a little bit of bad blood there. Uh, he's going to have a couple of a couple of uh, revenge games against the Titans this year in a Texans uniform. But uh, guys, go down in the comment section, grade the signing, type A, B, C, D, or F. The Texans signing Robert Woods. They're probably going to still pursue maybe another wide receiver in free agency, probably in the draft as well. But I really, really like this signing. Even if you draft a wide receiver at 12, which I believe they are going to do, hopefully Quinton Johnston, maybe JSN will be there. But even if they draft a wide receiver, um, you're, even if they don't draft a wide receiver, I should say, you're still going to have a lot of depth this position after the signing. Um, so I'm really, really happy about the signing. Again, go down in the comment section and subscribe. We're going to have you covered with Texans free agency news as it goes down. Hit that subscribe button. But I love the signing of veteran wide receiver Robert Woods. Really good stuff here from Nick Casario. And you get him for about $7 million per year, $7.5 million per year. That's pretty good value.